If you think Pinhead is a weak killer, it's probably because you're using him completely wrong. Pinhead is a ranged killer. Yep. That's right, a ranged killer, and arguably one of the best ranged killers in the game. Pinhead can do things that are impossible for survivors to counter, making him a stronger ranged killer than Trickster, Deathslinger, and even Huntress. With this build, I'm yet to lose a single game, and I was smoking P100s as if they just bought the game yesterday. I was challenged to turn Pinhead into an S tier killer, and I think I just did it. So do me a favor, completely forget everything you know about Pinhead because this playstyle is like no no other pinhead you've ever seen before. When making my builds, I try to lean into a killer's strengths, and pinhead has some very unique abilities. A lot of people focus their builds around the box and the chain hunt that ensues if it isn't solved, and while I considered that, I was more focused on his possessed chain. Pinhead can summon his possessed chain through walls and across the map. It's basically like wall hacking, but the issue is the possessed chain doesn't do any damage. That is, until you use this add-on, Engineer's Fang. Engineer Fang causes survivors to become injured when they're hit with the possessed chain, which instantly transforms Pinhead into a ranged killer. We're also going to use the add-on Frank's Heart. Frank's Heart gives us an additional 8 meters of casting distance. 8 meters. That's like bar. Okay, I live in America where we use the empirical system, so I know feet. I don't know meters. I don't know what football is. I know soccer. I don't know what socialized medicine is. I only know Chevrolet, bald eagles, and rock and roll. But I do know casting farther helps this build out a fair bit. So yeah, just use the Frank's Heart add-on. So now that we have the add-ons that transform Pinhead into a deadly range killer, it's time to pick some perks that make this build borderline unstoppable. But real quick, I have a promise I have to keep. I got chirped in my video for talking too much before my gameplay, and I promised I would talk even more to continue to piss off those who don't appreciate the hours I spend scripting these videos. So user Arizona Zona T308. This one's for you, pal. I craft these builds live on stream and I always enjoy getting input from chat. So make sure you swing by my stream at twitch.tv slash southloopstraz. Now, after all that, we can finally go over the perks. And fuck you, Arizona Iced bitch. The most important perk for this build is Lethal Pursuer. Lethal Pursuer allows you to see the auras of all the survivors at the start of the match, which leads to some early pressure. I timed it and my quickest down with this build was 15 seconds after the match started. Very few kills killers in this game have the ability to get downs that quickly into a match. Lethal Pursuer also extends the aura reading ability of all our other perks by 2 seconds, which is super helpful because our next perk is Barbecue and Chili. Definitely another fan favorite perk, but it works great in this build because you're able to see the aura of anyone 40 meters away after hooking a survivor. This will ensure you know exactly where to target your next chain. Gearhead is the third perk and it's kind of the unsung hero of this build. For 30 seconds after you injure a survivor, Gearhead allows you to see the the aura of any survivor that hits a good skill check on a generator. This is one of the easiest ways to get pressure with this build. Survivors never expect to get hit with a chain while working on a generator. And even if you're mid chase, don't be afraid to quickly injure the survivor on a generator and then get back to your chase. The final perk is Rancor and honestly you can use whatever perk you want here. Rancor just shows you the locations of all the survivors once a gen is complete, but the issue is with this build survivors will barely even finish a single gen. So this perk got very little use. but it's nice insurance just in case things start to get a little sticky. With Rancor, you're also able to Mori the obsession once exit gates are powered, but again, you'll probably have everyone hooked at 5 gens. The only time I was able to use this is when I let two nice survivors live at 4 gens because they offered me their items. One returned the favor by refusing to leave and letting me Mori them. Such a weird game. But there you have it, one of the most deadly pinhead builds ever created. Now watch as P100s magically transform into baby survivors. Oh, the game game oh boy this is gonna be really difficult guys because i'm not good at shooting up and down but this should be this should still be good for me because look i should be able to hit this look injured right away that's cross map that's like a wall hack you know look at this and we already got pressure that's unbelievable so we got barbecue and chili now. We'll see the auras. Uh, she's injured. So there's really no point in hitting her with our chain, but that doesn't mean we can't uh, find someone else. Oh, Gearhead is active now. Let's go, injured. I actually hit that gen again. Got her, another one. 
Man, this is overpowered. This build is already sick. What other killer can damage somebody? What did she pick up? My box? You summoned me. I came. You summoned me. I... Oh, fuck. I accidentally dropped her. My bad. Pick her back up. I got a little too excited. She's behind here. She's injured, so she's gonna go down. Yeah, it just it just compiles now because everyone's injured. And I was able to kill them from across the map. This girl's summon, summoning me. I came. She's injured, which means she's gonna go down. Oh boy, guys. This build may be sicker than I thought it was gonna be. That's fine. We're gonna press this sable just because she's already injured. Oh, then we'll get barbecue and chili and then we can chain hunt some people. Should be able to get her here. Nice. Got her. Easy hit. That was just unnecessary. I didn't even have to do that one, but it was kind of like show, like... It's kind of for show. Like, no one would expect a pinhead to be, like, a ranged killer, you know? So, all my perks are aura reading perks. So, let's see if I can get this. Yep. Hit her. So, she's injured. This girl, I can injure once I get this back. Injured. Just so good, man. Drop that pallet. That's fine. Stun me too. Here. Throw it. Once you throw that pallet, you're cooked. Once you throw that pallet, you're done. No scourge, no pain res. We don't need any of that. She's solving the box. The box. Yeah, we'll you definitely teleport it. to that. Yeah, they're both over here. Let me damage the Michaela. Yep, so they're both injured now. Michaela made a very ballsy play, and um, yep, she's gonna die. Oh, she just threw it. Is the chain, chain hunt active? I guess we'll just get a 4k. At this point, right? Well, nice. A little Fieri 4K. First game with the uh, the brand new build. Flavor town. Raccoon City Police Station. Man, can I get a fucking outdoor map? Jesus. I hate these multi-floor maps, man. They are brutal. But we should be able to get an early. I should have. I should have just went to the box. I was trying to hit a cross map. Got her. That's one. I hit her too. It's incredible. This is a bad. This is a bad place to be, girl. This is a bad place to be. You are not safe. You are not safe. You're not gonna make it to that pallet. You're not gonna make it to that pallet. You are not safe. Why did you throw that right there? You could have waited for a save at least. Background player? Nope. <laughs> you are not safe. Let's go. I I've, I've played a little too long there, but that's fine. This This girl has nowhere to go. Got her. Now she's injured. They finished the gen, but I got really good pressure. It's like, how do you counter a build like this? You know, she's going to have to throw this. Nice. Decent. Um, what is she? Is she the... The P100? The P98? Alright, she's throwing a lot of pallets. It's it's good to get these pallets out of the way. 
All right, we're gonna go outside and see if we can get a hit. Let's get around that corner as far as we can. Got her. Did, oh, did I hit the wrong girl? Yeah, I hit the wrong girl. No, did I? Yep, there we go. Now that she's injured. Two people injured, chain hunts active. It's gonna be a tough night in the office for them. She, and this girl already threw this pallet, so if you're hoping for a pallet here, you're not gonna get one. Yeah, chain hunt's active, so really nothing she could do there. All right, so they are healed up. She's upstairs. Got her. So this is way better than Huntress. You're like, who's hitting that shot on Huntress? Nobody's hitting that shot on Huntress. Nobody. She had her opportunity. He's death hook now. Did, oh! Oh, that would have been so cool. Oh! And she's dead. Yep. That's probably like the last pallet she can throw. Nope. Little pallet here. <laughs> she got nervous. She had it. She had it. She got a little nervous. The ranged pinhead build definitely requires a bit of practice, but once you get comfortable with it, I can almost promise you'll be wiping lobby after lobby. Kind of like the dredge build I made, which is just as strong, if not stronger. I'll post that video right here. And for all my survivor mains, I have a perfect build to counter these overpowered killers. I'll drop that video right here.